Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is a big day for Eternal Crusade as they've just released uh, their patch which includes the Eldar. Now a lot of people have been waiting on the Eldar for so so long so they're finally in the game now. Um, uh, they're open for everyone so if you have, if you actually own Eternal Crusade now uh, restart your Steam and you should have the notification to download the patch. So in this video I'm going to be creating a character. Uh, may I add a female character as well. Uh, I think Eldar are the only race that's going to allow the option to have female characters in so that is a pretty cool uh, feature uh, uh, so yeah I'm going to be making a, a character I'm going to be going over uh, all the classes that are actually they've put into the game there's still some to come uh, stuff like the swooping hawk and stuff like that hasn't been implemented yet so that's still to come uh, so yeah I'm just going to be covering the basics showing you which what what each class does and how they work and stuff like that hopefully I'll give you some better information and you can uh, make your choices and what class to play and stuff like that so let's jump right in and let's get started now the first class we're going to be looking at is the Striking Scorpion. Now the Striking Scorpion is much like the Assault class in uh, for Space Marines and Chaos Space Marines. It's a melee oriented class, so that means you know you're going to be equipped with melee. You've got uh, all these new kind of uh, stuns and kicks and stuff like that. Very Eldar S. But the best thing about it for me is, is that if you go still, as you can see in the video now, you actually go into like a camouflage like kind of predator kind of mode so um if you crouch and you walk uh you can still stay uh cloaked but the faster you go the faster you decloak so if i was to start running uh, like i'm doing in the video now and then i start sprinting you can see my cloak uh coming off uh and stuff like that so it's it's one of them classes which is going to be a mix of uh, melee and stealth you know it's it's you, you don't want to be running into the situations like you can with a, a space marine with a, a shield and stuff like that it's going to be a very stealthy class of play like sneak sneaking up on people and hitting them in the back and stuff like that which is really really cool it, you know it's 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 basically Eldar you know you you can't go in and take the hits like a, a space marine can but you you know you've got the power to uh, blend into the shadows and actually uh, do some uh, damage okay so let's uh, move on to the next class guys and uh, let's see what we've got and now we have the Dire Avenger now the Dire Avenger is basically the tactical class of the Eldar just like Space Marine uh, the tactical class is used for capping points this is going to be your class for use for capping points as you can see it's got the its main weapon actually has quite a big of a magazine it has 60 shots in its main magazine also comes with a side pistol as well which you uh, it's got this little Eldar like beam effect well, I've, 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 it, escapes me what technology they use also comes with a grenade the grenade that i've just slung there uh i don't think that's skin for eldar i think that's the space marine grenade so don't uh get can uh get concerned with that um i'm actually really enjoying the eldar at the moment visually i'm really enjoying them i think i think the devs have really nailed uh the visual aspects and how they look and how they move and stuff like that uh so yeah i'm very very enjoying uh the, the this this whole Eldar update. But anyway, uh, let's uh, move on to uh, the next class and let's see what we have. And the next class we have is the uh, Fire Dragon. Now the Fire Dragon uh, has a beam type weapon just like the multi melter and the melter for the Space Marines as you can see here. Uh, you hold your fire button down and it, it puts a uh, fire, uh, well a beam, a beam type of uh, effect down. Now what I've noticed about the Fire Dragon is that the actual fire mode, the burst is only around about three seconds before it overheats. So you gotta really have to be watching what you shoot and hand, and for how long you're actually shooting things using this class because it's before you know it you're gonna be overheating and you're gonna be putting yourself in a quite a bad situation. As you saw before, it does come with a pistol, but it doesn't come with a grenade. So you've only got your uh, sidearm, your knife for Mila, and your main weapon. Um, beside that. Again, another great looking model. I thought it was very cool. I love these bright colours uh, being put into the game because it, ma it mismatches and stuff like that, which is awesome. Okay, let's move on to the next uh, video. Now, the next class we have is the Dark Reaper. Now, the Dark Reaper is a heavy weapons class. 
just like the Devastator class for the uh, Space Marines and uh, the uh, Havoc class for the Chaos Space Marines. As you can see, it's it's got two fire modes. Now, it's got this uh, single shot fire mode, which I just did then barrage into it. And it's also got a charge fire mode. So when I'm charging the gun up now and it gets to the end of the charge, it will fire all the shots that's actually in the gun at the target at the same time. As you can see there, so it's very effective if you can actually get a charger off and actually put it into an actual target. For me personally, I'd probably use this against uh, tanks, but it's with that charge barrage and the thing uh, and and how fast you can actually shoot the single shots, it, it can be very effective against their inf infantry targets as well. Uh, this is probably my favourite looking model actually out of all the Eldar. I'm not too sure actually on the faceplate. I I don't know. It just looks a bit strange. But beside that, I think it's very, very, very awesome model. I love the ponytail. Anyway, next video. Now, the last class we have is the Warlock. Now, the Warlock, just like the Apothecary and the Sorcerer for Chaos, is the healer class, uh, or like range kind of magic class, as you would say. So if I was to press my left button down, as you can see now, it's putting actually a nice little like heal actually on myself. A good thing I've noticed about the uh, Warlock class is that... <laughs> If you're healing a ally, which I'll actually show later on in the video, uh, that if there's another ally stood next to him, it, it would actually chain heal uh, the allies. Uh, I don't know how many people you can do this with. I think the most I got was free. I don't know if you can, you can go more, but uh, I thought that was a pretty cool feature. So you know, you you're able to get like a lot of guys together and just do like a big chain heal effect, which you know will really move you uh, and your uh, team fast if you can just multiple heal people all at the same time which is pretty cool as you can see it's got its sword uh, uh, it's, it has got the pistol and stuff like that to shoot and stuff uh, it does have access to you can jump around and do all that kind of fancy stuff with it but yeah I, again another very very cool class and here you go this is the video I said at the start of uh, the warlock as you can see now I'm starting to heal this chap over here and you'll see where the stream jumps to uh, two of them in a second there it is right there it's jumping to him now which is like i said it's a really really cool feature you know when when you when you when you have something like this and there's a full team of you uh, you can hit all heal up very very fast and just keep moving now if you have two warlocks as well just just imagine the streams you can do you can see here now with another warlock i think that was a four four way stream which was absolutely incredible very very awesome Okay everyone, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said at the start, this was basically just a small a small video just to introduce you to the Eldar classes and just to show, show them off a bit. Uh, I would suggest just getting into game and actually playing around with them a lot because they are very, very different. Uh, their movement, their, their style of play is a, a lot different as uh, on, on like like you'd play a Space Marine or Chaos Space Marine. You can't be running into like certain situations like you could do as a Chaos Space Marine, like soaking up bullets and stuff like that. You just can't do that with Eldar. They're a very nimble and very, uh, I won't say weak class, but their strength is definitely in their armament and not their armor. So you have to play them uh, very, very differently. Okay, chaps, have a nice night and uh, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.